the graphically it looks almost the same. It doesn't look like it's changed much. Sent to beats. Robot just like casually walks out. Just, you know. Absolutely. All right. We saw enough of that. <laughs> Armored Core Two. Another age. I've never played this game, so this entire thing is going to be a new experience for me. Uh, convert data from AC2. Let's see if this works correctly. I should. Hey, okay, so this is this is easier than Duck Station. Because Duck Station, I had to like manually put it into the next game's memory card slot. Because every, every, every game on that one saved as its own memory card. Wow, this is an interesting menu. Garage. Do I have all my AC still? Yes, I do. Sweet. Let's uh, let's change this guy up. Let's make him a little bit lighter. We don't need to be that heavy anymore. That was bad. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Oh yeah, we do have radiators in this one again. Leave that. Cool fucking beans. Oh, wait, I need to put my optional parts back on. I like the menu, though. The menu's different. It's pretty cool. These menus are the same, but the main menu is, is what looks like it's a huge difference. You guys keep the same cockpit? Yes, you are. Sweet. Also, controls differently, too. It's up and down instead of left and right. And new heads that I didn't have before? That was, looks like it was new. I wonder if you start off in the same, like, bog standard AC setup as the beginning of the other one, of AC2. I have access to all of those. Oh, these are, these are new arms down here. Okay. Oh, no, just the, the menu resets. That's weird. There's not a bottom of the menu, so if I wanted to, I can just go like that. Gotcha. And these look like these are the same legs that it ended with. Okay, so it doesn't look like they changed anything except for that. I didn't have that unlocked last time. I didn't have that either. I wonder if it's giving me like the option to buy the optional parts I never found. Never found that either. Hmm. Interesting. Cool in here. That was the other one too. Oh, okay. well, it doesn't look like anything really changed. Words are hard. Oh, interesting, a backup boost now. I didn't have that before. New in here. That looks pretty cool. Anything else cool in here? Anything fun? Are those radars? Looks like there's some graphical improvements that I didn't see before. Fire units that attack on their own. Okay, the orbital units. Here, these are the same guns. Oh, there's that. Urasawa. The rifle doesn't actually do nearly as much damage as it looks like it should. Can I buy, can I buy Moonlight? Yes, I can, because I missed it the last time. Yeah. It's defensive, any energy shield. Not much of a use in having that, but buy that. Oh, there's the capacitor for the generator. Get a lot of slots for that though. Might be able to swing that. 294,000 left. So much ammo. It feels kind of like cheating when I kind of do that kind of thing and then convert my save file. Where were we? Ooh. Moonlight. Range rating goes up. Everything goes up on that. Sweet. 
Can I? I can. I had just enough slots remaining. Neo Isaac is my new uh, handler. Beat on you. All right, we got a save going. F it, let's play some more of this. I got another uh, 35 more minutes before I think we'll get ready to get Grayson off the bus, and then we call it a day. And who knows? I don't know when the next episode of stream is. It's kind of all up in the air recently. Oh, that's interesting. That shows me where the mission option was. That's weird. Proceed to Neo Isaac. The underground, the indie, the, there's I don't like how that's moving around every time I hit the A button on that menu. I don't know if that's a bug in the emulator or if that's a bug with the game itself. Oh, there's the there's the text again. Main system. Here's you. I was opening right here. Your target is a small squad of NTs. It kind of does look like it's graphically improved. Make sure they're all destroyed. Yes, ma'am. I ruin the save money in this game. I could just use energy weapons and not worry about it. Oh, they went back to having hit as a green green bar instead of being in the same orange bar as everything else. That's interesting. I noticed that when I was playing AC2, I completely forgot that the hit bar was uh, the same as the damage bar. Actually, I'm noticing now too, like the hit bar is not showing up as much. I'm not sure if that's because I'm constantly hitting because it's a machine gun or what that's about. That's a little weird. But there's a guy behind me with the missile launcher. Hey guys. Nope, oh, she's a small one. Okay, never mind. Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. I've never played this game before. This is awesome. I'm actually excited for this. Same with Silent Line. I guess started Silent Line and never actually finished it. Also, I am three beers left of my, uh, before my bodily reset on alcohol. That's gonna be fun. What up, Chuck? How are we doing? I am able to play a game that I've never played before from the Armored Core series. Oh, interesting. He's mean average difficulty for the mission. That is so weird and cool at the same time. I probably should pay attention to what the hell I'm doing, but whatever. How's Chuck doing today? How would be? How was your Monster Hunter experience? I'm sorry, I had to dip during your stream on Sunday. I had uh, the whole work thing. I ended up getting busy. I was like, motherfuckers. I wonder, does the infinite energy push work in this still? Yes, it does. Okay. Hey, keep flying above me. See what happens. Oh, apparently, me not being able to aim is what happens. I hate flying units. Wow, that actually runs out way faster than the second game. Okay. They nerfed the infinite ammo glitch, or the infinite energy glitch. Up, dude. It was okay. Good. Yeah, Monster Hunter is the game that like you you really don't get much time. <laughs> Unless you know specifically what you're hunting and where you're going and what you what your objective is, there's you're really not gonna get a lot done. Nine times out of ten, what I'll end up doing is after I get to a point where I'm like done doing hunts for like the main missions. For a while, I'll sit there and I'll just farm whatever monsters were in that area that I just recently did. And wait until I get better armor using their skin. And then I'll be like, oh, cool. It's a fun game. It is like one of my all time favorite grindy games. Is that dead? Shit. Mission objective achieved. Oh no. Okay. My, my suggestion for that, that for any player who's new to the game would definitely be just to start with Sword and Shield and just or go to the training menu that's in there. There's a hub that you can go to for everything and try out different weapons and see which one you like and, and work on that. 
Just going in there blind and not having any idea like how to do certain things and, and dodging certain attacks gets to be a pain, even for people who do know what they're playing. My thing is I, I switch weapons every single time I play and every hunt I do now. So like one hunt I'll be a hammer, then the next hunt I'll be a longsword, so I have to like try and remember what all the combos are. And it comes a pain. Fun though. I'm definitely enjoying being a hammer dude this time around. Poor hunting horn guy. Oh yeah, Bug Glaive is awesome. I was Bug Glaive in, uh, in Worlds for a while. Me and my one friend would play that, I'd always choose the Bug Glaive. I'm destroying you. Whoa, okay. Stand on top of this thing. Their speed. Destroy them before they can escape. Head on. Are you talking about the Sunbreaker DLC or is it a different DLC? Or is it something else? And our armor spheres definitely help, especially if you're doing like a sub quest every time you go into a hunt. That's like the easiest way to get upgrades. I tried to do the add on menu from the Game Pass version, it didn't give me any. I was kind of surprised. Yeah, the targets. There's one behind me. What did that happen? Yeah, that. Any of the region defense is definitely good. I did a lot more damage on this fight than I thought I would. Of all targets confirmed. I win. Mission objective System switch to normal mode. I was having fun when I was playing it Sunday night? Last night? What's today? Tuesday? Last night. Um, because I was using a hammer and uh, I was fighting a little Gombi and I was like, sweet, let me just swing the hammer at it. And I kept falling asleep and getting knocked unconscious because he was hitting it with a hammer. Good waste treatment. Let's do that one. Let's enter the shit plan. They claim to have taken these steps in a Enter the poop plant. Crop dust. Oh, cheap dust. Sorry. System. Engaging combat mode. Okay. They're done without you having a grenade launcher. Oh, you both have grenade launchers. That's fucking cool. Okay. Oh my god. Why are you so accurate with those things? Look all the way off. Oh, you can break those. Oh, that's not good. He's doing the selfie fall away down. Oh. <laughs> I guess he blew himself up. Okay. Uh, that solved my problem. I should just shot underneath him and solved it that way. Whatever. Eh, I took a little bit of damage on that. But then we got all the hits. Do I have nothing to get ringing yet? Or mail? Or is it all just missions? Yeah, I don't even have an option for like mail or anything like that. I wonder if there's no mail. Oh. Okay. This is just straightforward just doing missions. Is that all another age is? I have to look into this game. Did that have a ranking thing? No, it just has sortie. Maybe it is all just missions. I've been 4%. I wonder if that's just my progression through the missions. Let me just look at something real quick. Armored core. Another. But armored wrong, apparently. 
Five of us have to five years after we was Klein's coup in our report two, the Earth government must contend with corporations rebuilding their influence. Okay. Gotcha. Arena is removed from the game, making way for over 100 missions. Minor analog control or support has been added to the game with local cooperative mission mode. While only retained in the Japanese version, the game was notable for being the first game in the franchise to include online multiplayer. Huh. Uh, minor changes. The game revolves around accepting missions from various corporations that earn credits for new parts for the player's armored core unit. Uh, uh, another age has an expansion armored core. was or acts as an expansion. In Armored Core 2, though it can be played as a standalone title. The arena, a game mode made uh, recurring through the series, is absent from another age, giving way to a greater number of missions. Oh boy. A hundred missions, which remains the highest number of missions in a single game in the Armored Core franchise. Game only allows and but only allows for the left analog stick to be used for movement, while other games in the er, in the era allow for look functionality and the right joystick of another age. Retain the franchise's use of shoulder buttons to look around. That's a pain. Uh be an eye link. Wow, you can actually do online co-op. There is a co-op mission mode too. Huh. Interesting. Got 35 out of 40 through five Famitsu. Nice. Electronic gaming monthly. Wow, I gave it a five out of ten. Go go figure there. Game Informer gave it an 8.5. Oh, about time game GameStop did something good. IGN gave it a 7.8 out of 10. Okay, that's all I needed to know. All right, so yeah, there's no arena mode in this. It's all just sorties. That's interesting. That is news to me. You're just about level 25? Dude, Jesus. I appreciate it. Oh, Wild Hearts too. Yeah, Wild Hearts is supposed to be pretty good as well. just missions i have 100 missions to, to knock out defend the elevator the indies have initiated an attack those goddamn indies i fucking just said a slur i should apologize i need to tweet longer now someone i was in someone's chat yesterday who was uh playing armored core or armored core not monster hunter world and someone was like how how would you describe monster hunter to someone who's never played it? i said take big stick and whack monster with big stick until it stops whacking you and make weapons out of that that animal's flesh you know yeah that's a pretty accurate description of the game i almost missed the double that sucked it's interesting for them to remove the the arena mode in this though that's kind of odd because it makes way for bigger maps though cool blades oh dual blades are cool too if you get the person i was watching was super good at dual blading which i was kind of i was actually impressed by it because as much as i like dual blades um i feel like they kind of fell off off the world I, I didn't really enjoy them as much in rise but i think it's because they're trying to make more um, mounting more of a mechanic than anything else, but those ones can do a shitload of damage if you can get a good hit on something. A shitload of damage. Watch the entire health bar go away. Watch some monster go from an, uh, an is to a was. Emrod's back. This is an urgent request. A squad of MTs that we dispatch. The so Game the hammer. I've been having ha fun with the hammer because I sit there and I charge it and I just Defend swing. Then the target. Target's getting fucked up. The mission will be aborted for all your teams to destroy. Working on it. Rescue as many of them as you can. Working on it. Those two. They're chunky boys. The size of those things. I'm just kind of surprised that they nerfed the uh, infinite energy cheat. Okay. Here's you. Where the hell you're going? 
Or that way. Oh, they severely nerfed that. That is crazy. I mean, good on them because I was going to use it to cheese this entire game, but like, damn. Explosions happening at once. Look at it. Well, that was almost 100% completion with no one dying except for he got in the way of my shots. That sucks. Ooh, ouch. That one empty, huh? Yep. Okay. Whoopsies. How am I supposed to know if new items got added to the uh, shop yet? Or is it kind of just guess? So I wonder if I could just sit here and do Neo Isaac stuff. Where it like tells me to stop. That's weird. A sample of a new material we are developing. Should the enemy force please eliminate. So eliminate enemy forces. Got it. I don't want to. Actually, the last time I was playing, I put on the bug glyph again just because I wanted to remember how to play it. And I was like, oh, that's right. You can actually, like, fly in the air for an hour if you wanted to. Oops. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Weird with mines. It would have been nice if I would have known that was there. You have it needs to stop. Hey baby girl, what you up to? You want fun? Alright, doesn't mean I can have him. So nice of you. Okay, thank you, baby girl. So nice of you to share. Ow. I pay attention to what I'm hitting before I explode. I don't know what I'm supposed to be avoiding with those mines or what I what I'm hitting. I just know I'm exploding randomly. Uh, can I move with the analog stick? Oh my god, I can. Ow. I can use the analog stick now. Yes. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Oh man. I never thought I would miss using an analog stick before. Where's my next target, though? Oh, you can't use it in there, though. Okay. Oh, still better than nothing. The fact that I can at least do that is, is a nice change. Oh. Oh. You missed. Ow. Okay, your mine didn't, though. Mine? Go ahead and catch up with my face. That's okay. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. God. Okay. Mission objective achieved. System switch. What? It must have run over a mine. That's amazing. Good job. Ten ten. That's how I know I'm gonna get a new weapon or something like that. A little jank, but okay. Rockets? Rockets. Alright. Hit up the shop. Looking by. I'm gonna go to a different area. Get out of uh, Neo, whatever it's called. I 
I want to use a different weapon, but I don't know what. I'm going to use a rifle. Go for, with a rifle for a little bit. It's a minor change, but it's a change. The one I bought. This one I bought. <laughs> it's more tech power. New Isaac is done. It is okay. Really, you can you can just do these in any order you want, and just do it by difficulty if you want to defend the bomber. The Arg aircraft. We believe the intended target of in order to confuse the hangars. Their Chris. No. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Would you like help? Yeah. Give me a second. We need this, this uh, mission. Okay. <laughs> the goldfish. Okay. You never as many goldfish as you want, baby girl. Mission objective achieved. That was easy. System switch to normal mode. Let's see. Which hand is this going to go? This goes on your left hand. We're not going to get all princess stuff, okay? Because we got to go get brother in like an hour. Okay. Oh, you got all fingers in the, in the right spot. Good job. Pull it down a little bit more. Okay. If you want, we can get all princess stuff and we get home with brother. Wants to be a princess. Trying to dress up as a princess. Don't quite have the time for that right now. Where are they? They're upstairs. Hey. Okay. Interrogation of one of those involved in the attack on the Arg okay. to make. I'm gonna just be careful. The camera the peaked up there. Enemy has please disarm all. You've been. Hmm. Oh, good. Main system. Combat mode. Please head to the east maintenance hangar and disarm the two bombs there. I took damage from that. Ayo. Oh, this thing shot me. Okay. I'm like, what the hell is shot? That one either. Okay. I think we need a better walk on range because this thing is so close range for being a rifle. It's so nice being able to use an analog stick now, though. To be honest, if the aiming wasn't still a little archaic, but. It is what it is. Hey, good job. I'll do it. Oops. I found one bomb. You did. I just don't step in it, okay? You did a bit stepped in it. You. Oh, there's the bomb. Get a wipey and wipe your foot where you stepped in it. Move to the room and the Get a wipey and wipe your foot. The bomb there. 
I'm in South class. I need to go back up. Assuming that's what that means. It doesn't look like there's any. We're on the glass table next to mommy's chair. I thought it had a good generator, but I'm like. Uh, no energy left. Where was that? There it was. Now move to the room in the west and disarm the bomb there. It's an oddly specific way of doing this. Like, just let me go wherever I need to go. I need a better booster. This booster is so goddamn small. I don't mean that one. Oh, I get it. I get it. They're, they're only open certain ones to keep these things inside. Okay. The words are really getting hard out of nowhere. Please proceed to the room on the north side of the facility and disarm two bombs. Meow. Booster or better generator, which is surprising. I think I have the heavier generator anyway. Gates, in, gates locked? Okay. Talking about the room that's all on the other side of this, maybe. Oh, there goes that walkway. I guess you didn't, didn't need that. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and put the uh, wiping the garbage. Princess shoes outside to go get brother. Please move to the room in the northwest and disarm the bomb there. Okay. Want me to carry you in the car so you don't get mud all over? A little muddy outside. We had we had snow yesterday and snow and rain. Um, the problem is where I live in, in my area is it's all uh, the area above me because uh, of higher evo elevation, obviously. Evolution. And disarm the two bombs there. Um, elevation. We have way more snow than we do in, in my town. And we had nothing. We had rain and like snow mixture. That sucks. I was hoping for more snow. The one downside about living up north right now is that there's no snow ever until like late January, late March ish. So I'm predicting that we're going to have some pretty gnarly snowstorms coming up. Also, I'm running out of time for this mission. I need to clear this up. <laughs> Fuck that empty. Hopefully this is the last bomb. Oh. oh my god, there's another one somewhere. Please be the last one. All bombs have been disarmed. Good work. Mission objective achieved. Is it gonna fail me or switch to normal mode? I hit zero. Wait, didn't fail. You took your glove off anyway? No, I won, okay. Yeah, we have nothing. We have nothing. It's weird. New air is available. Ooh. Interesting. The All the mean salt has snow. As a war, the object, your road. My aunt and uncle in law, who's a sweet tool, um, we're out in Nebraska and they were like, yeah, we don't have snow plows out here. I'm like, what? Well, your only option of getting out is you have to like shovel yourself out. Beyond your mini sodas. It's 
I'm just paid extra for the car that's outside my house farting right now because it sounds like garbage. A little too well about the Minnesota snow. I was surprised by that. My, my aunt was like, yeah, we don't have snowballs out in Nebraska. We kind of just have to either shovel ourselves out and get a snowplow or get our own uh, snowblower and kind of do everything ourselves. I guess the community does all the shoveling and the roads to get everyone out or something like that. So it's weird. I was kind of blown away by that. Go get I know a couple women that are into that. I mean, what? Oh, how many does it go? You pull down two, or are you going to break Santa's beard? My mind's in the gutter. I said that out loud. Oh, my wife. What? He's not a real Santa. Who's a real Santa? Oh, Santa Claus is a real Santa? Okay. Am I a good pretend Santa? No. Yeah. I I always help Santa. We're in mommy's belly. people in my belly. Mommy's the one that has people in her belly. <laughs> you done with this conversation? Okay. Cool. And so am I. It's okay. Um, sometimes you do a workshop. I mean, same here. There have been times where I will shovel things out way faster than... Uh, I don't know why I'm using the... Uh, I'm using the directions again. Out of habit. Our plow company for our... Um, Town will sometimes do it, but they do such a worse job. I'm better off just shoveling the, drug, the road myself. And then they shovel me back, either plow me back in. It's like, guys, I just shovel that. Stop. Ooh, that ammo. That's not kosher. And I still got more to do. Ooh, good. Just playing with the tape merge. <laughs> You're silly. And blowing. You're silly. Go to the target. I'm sitting here wasting ammo. No. I'm surprised I'm out of ammo though. Like that's that's warming. The target. I'm overheating. Hello. The security system has been disabled. Oh, what's happening? Why am I losing all my health? As a security precaution, all blocks within the facility will be alert. Oh, Lord, is they weren't already? Oh, God, I'm going to lose all my health. I'm just leaving. Oh, dropping down. Bye. They're shutting the security gate. Raven, get out of there now. Working on it. So, but surely. As the worst part is where I live, because we're a side street, our plows won't get here for like several hours if the snow's high enough. So I, I'm kind of looking forward to that now that uh, my job doesn't give a fuck if I can't come to work. But at the same time, like, I kind of would like to go to work so I can make my money. I don't want to waste the ammo on that. What do you think? circling the drain of being tired. I've got like another 10 minutes or so before I gotta take a little break. Well, not let me take a break. Before I take off for the night. Uh, or at least for the time being. I know I was supposed to stream Sunday and I never did, but uh, see how things are going. How the wife's feeling. Let me make sure the wife makes it home too. I was, I was actually kind of proud of my wife yesterday because Chrissy uh, she went to go, she took my car and she was going to go to work in uh, New York for her uh, shift there. That's where they were sending her that yesterday. And like before we left the house, I told her, I was like, listen, don't wreck my car. Um, 
because we, I knew we were getting some snow. I said, if it snows, it's time to go, is your motto. Uh, if you get, if you're on the highway and get close to work and, and it's shitty, you turn the fuck around and go home. <laughs> uh, I go to work, I text her, I'm like, hey, let me know when you get there so I know you made it to work. And before I even got the text sent out, she comes through the door and I went to go say hi to her cohort that works at my place. Um, and no, it was her. She's like, yeah, I got the exit one. And I said, fuck that and turned around and came here instead. And I'm like, oh, perfect. There you go. We work for the same company so she can just come work at my store and solve that problem. I was like, wow, that was actually a very good decision. Because I wouldn't want to drive on that highway. Fuck that. I did that a couple times before. Like, I'm used to driving that. She's not. Um, she's doing better. We're still dealing with trying to figure out what we're doing as far as the car situation goes. So right now I'm still borrowing my sister's um, Buick for the time being. I gotta fight. Okay, I just gotta fight this thing inside this treatment again. Um, but anyway, um, she's, we're still trying to figure that thing out. My stepdad had sent me a, a picture or a uh, link to a car on Facebook Marketplace today for another 2004 um, Subaru for Forester. And I was like, hey, did you look at the rest of that listing? He goes, what do you mean? Like, did you check the rest of the listing? Well, no, I saw the pictures of the outside of the car. It looked perfect. I'm like, yeah, but did you see the inside? The interior was missing half the, the radio. The radio was gone. The, the top part was there for the CD player, but the tape deck was out. It was just a hole in the, in the dash. And then above it on the one of the panels was completely missing. I'm like, it's missing pieces on the inside. And then I was like, and then on top of that, they, they have a picture of the of the car started so you can see the dash and the dash has check engine lights and shit on it. I'm like, dude, this, I get it's $2,700 and it's from a dealership, but like my friend from work is trying to sell me a Jeep Liberty with the the transmission it needs to replace, to be have replaced. And I have someone who can do it for free for $2,000 and I can have that like in a week. <laughs> and you want me to go to a, a dealership that for 2700 so more money and in much shittier condition He's like, well, we don't know what else is wrong with your friend's car I'm like, I know what's wrong with the car because they told me what's wrong with the car and I'm pretty sure my coworker would rather me get to work So yeah, we're having to deal with that and then he's trying to find a uh, new engine I'm glad he was able to still hit me with that um, a new engine for the car too to see how much that's gonna cost And it's gonna be like three grand for that I'm like uh, three grand for that Two thousand dollars for a car that just needs a transmission that already comes with it Doing on that transmission part. She is very anxious to drive, though, so that's uh, understandable. Well. What is that? New back unit. Three missiles at once. That sounds painful. Oh, she's doing good. Her uh, father's still being an absolute dickhead. Her grandfather's in slowly failing health. But one thing after another, we'll take care of it. Mm. Old gal. Do a mission or two from old gal. Emergency request. The old Gal Bureau of Control is planning an attack on the storage complex. A dropship is beat for reason. A dropship is literally a Zeppelin? I'm confused. Number of this mission is vital to Appreciate that. I try to say po positive. One of those things where my wife said, I don't understand how you're always so positive about things. It's because what the, fuck, what the fuck is panicking going to do about it? I can be frustrated about it, or I can just try and figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. I love that guy mentality of I'll figure it out. It's just my motto when everything's going bad. So yeah, we'll figure it out. This whole car situation, I'll figure it out. What is that? Oh, those are MTs. Okay. That was beefy. Drives her up a wall, by the way. Every time I say it, I'll figure it out, she's like, Really? Uh huh. 
I don't like having problems without solutions. And it drives her nuts because if I don't have a solution, I'm going to sit there and like stay up all night and figure it out. I like having answers. I need answers. What's my thing to do? Like, I'll get pissed off and I'll get very frustrated and I'll sit there for a minute and be like, okay, hold on, let me figure this out. Figure it out. Let me move on. I learned a long time ago, which I'm, pretty, I'm sure is not healthy. I should probably see a therapist, but <laughs> is to replace inaction with action. So rather than letting like depression hit me or like sh things stress me out to the point where I, I don't want to move or don't want to leave my house, I just replace it by doing something. I'll deal with it later. Probably not healthy, but it's worked so far. 29 years, and I'm still standing. We got an old gal. Do the old gal again. Eliminate patrolling AC. Defend the materials cache. I think the eliminating the materials storage. I think eliminating an AC sounds like a very good way to end this off. That thing looks fucking cool. Got a flamethrower. Looks like. Daughter's still playing with the tape measure. Four hours. I've been alive for four hours today. Damn. Wild. Oh, so. The uh, issue I was having on Sunday with raids, I just realized that, as I said, four hours. The issue I was having with raids, uh, thing not registering that I had been live with the overlay for four hours, fixed itself by the time I got to work. So, like, I didn't have to stay on that extra time that I did. So, I was like, oh, you know what? It was still fun. I think I just needed a minute for it to register and stream elements, uh, thingy. Let's track her. I forgot, between all the friends that I had, uh, and, and even got some relatives to, to play the game for a little bit, I think I'm at, like, 15? We'll hit level 12? Like, it's a decent number. I'm not entirely sure. Get close, because he started overheating me before. Get away from me. How are you still alive? This is what I get for taking off my machine gun. There we go. System switch to normal. Nose. I poke it? Yeah. Now I'm to poke the nose. Boop the snoot. Ooh, that's a lot of damage I took. It seems like the best thing to do since I don't have an arena is just to wait till I have a, like an AC combat mission and just do and switch out to my uh arena AC again. I'm gonna do one more just because I uh, I have the time. I, I did that a little bit faster than I thought I was going to. Uh, defend the materials cache. Got it. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Defend that. Raven, do you copy? Uh huh. Be on the lookout for any units that slip by our team on the roof. Gotcha. Raven. Two units managed to get past us. Take them out. Right, where are they? Oh, they okay, haven't spawned in yet. Oh, those are beefy too. Oh, are you shooting at me? Hey. Okay. Shoot the door, shoot me. This is for sure the last mission because I got a couple things, small things to do before I uh, go pick up Grayson. No, that's anything crazy. I just got to spawn thing. Three units are headed your way. They can just spawn wherever, apparently, because that door is nowhere near, nowhere to be found over here. Where are you falling asleep? I'm <laughs> just meow. Back to humming or song. Three units got by. You suck. Oh, God. They're over here. not having my machine gun anymore. Or my machine gun. Actually, the machine gun would be better in this area instead of this missile. This one. Being overrun. That's not good. I don't have a lot of health. There's an AC? No. Just more, more than MTs. Okay. No. No, 
that missed. You're still alive. Thank you. I'm shooting my door. Okay, that guy must have blown up his friend. Or they were just easy to kill. Oh, with that I win. Never mind, no ACs. I was actually wrong. Mission objective achieved. Objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. What do, you, what do you think, baby? Is it time to stop? Get ready for brother? Okay. All right, but we just grab that. She's gonna lose it. Brother will be very upset if I can't get that open. Uh, did those all for old gal? No, there's another one on old gal. Two of them, actually. I kind of, I don't know. This is actually kind of an interesting way of doing this game. Having it set up as just, just purely missions. It's a hundred missions. And I've done 15 of them. Right? Three, eight, 14. Either way. It's an interesting way of doing it. Instead of having arena battles and having to like call a, a single storyline, I can just do 100 missions and call it a day. Which is pretty cool. I think I'm going to enjoy doing that. It also means I don't have to grind in an arena to try and get better at the uh, story mode. So I think this is a good time to call it quits for the day. Um, purely because it's time to go anyway. And I have to do a couple small things. But I appreciate it all hanging out. And hopefully uh, we had a good time. Always chilling and just.